In this video, we will solve problems based on properties related to quadrilaterals. Let's continue with the first one. The problem states that angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 ratio 5 ratio 9 ratio 13. We need to find the angles of this quadrilateral. To find these angles, let the number required for the simplification of these ratios be x. Therefore, the value of first angle becomes 3x, value of second angle becomes 5x, value of third angle becomes 9x and value of fourth angle becomes 13x. By using angle sum property of quadrilateral that is sum of all the four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. On adding 3x, 5x, 9x and 13x we get 30x equals 360 degree. On transposing x equals 360 upon 30 which is equal to 12. Putting the value of x we get first angle equals 3 into 12 which is equal to 36 degree, second angle equals 5 into 12 which is equal to 60 degree, third angle equals to 9 into 12 which is equal to 108 degree, fourth angle equals 13 into 12 which is equal to 156 degree. Hence 36 degree, 60 degree, 108 degree and 156 are the required angles. There is an alternate way to solve the same problem. Under this method, the ratio of the individual angle is divided by the sum of the ratio which is multiplied by 360 degree. Therefore, value of the first angle becomes 3 upon 30 multiplied by 360 degree which on simplification gives 36 degree. The value of second angle is calculated as 5 upon 30 multiplied by 360 degree which on simplification gives 60 degree. Value of third angle is equal to 9 divided by 30 multiplied by 360 degree which is simplified as 108 degree while the fourth angle is calculated as 13 upon 30 multiplied by 360 degree which on simplification gives 156 degree. Hence the problem is solved. Let's solve the next problem. The problem states that if the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal then show that it is a rectangle. Let ABCD be the required parallelogram such that side AB is equal and parallel to side CD and side AD is equal and parallel to side BC. As diagonals are equal, therefore diagonal AC is equal to diagonal BD. Now from the given conditions, we need to prove ABCD is a rectangle. We need to prove each vertex angle as 90 degree. Since opposite sides are already equal and parallel, as by the properties of parallelogram, now to prove it as a rectangle, only vertex angles need to be proved equal to 90 degree. To prove this, consider triangle ABC and triangle DCB. As side BC is common to both the triangles, therefore side BC equals side BC. Side AB equals side CD. As opposite sides of parallelogram are equal, as diagonals are given equal, therefore diagonal AC equals diagonal BD. By side 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 rule, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude angle ABC equals angle BCD or angle 1 equals angle 2. As side AB is parallel to side CD, therefore the sum of angle ABC and angle BCD equals 180 degree, as sum of co-interior angles is supplementary. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180 degree, as angle 1 equals angle 2, therefore twice of angle 1 equals 180 degree. On transposing, we get angle 1 as 90 degree. Also opposite angles of parallelogram are equal, Therefore, angle ADC equals angle ABC and angle BAD equals angle BCD which is equal to 90 degree. Hence, the given parallelogram with equal diagonals is proved as rectangle. Let's solve the next problem. The problem states that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other at right angles, then the given quadrilateral is a rhombus. Let ABCD be a quadrilateral and O be the point of bisection of diagonal AC and diagonal BD such that angles AOB, BOC, AOB and AOD all measures 90 degree. Also segment AO equals segment OC and segment OB equals segment OD. From these given conditions we need to prove ABCD is a rhombus that is all sides of the quadrilateral ABCD are equal. To prove side AB equal to side BC consider triangle AOB and triangle BOC as OB is the common segment hence it is equal. As diagonals bisect each other, therefore segment AO equals segment OC. Also angle AOB equals angle BOC each 90 degree. Therefore by side angle side rule, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle BOC. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude segment AB equals segment BC. 
Similarly, to prove side AB equal to side CD, consider triangle AOB and triangle COD. As diagonals bisect each other, therefore segment AO equals segment OC and segment OB equals segment OD. Also angle AOB equals angle COD, each 90 degree. Therefore by side angle side rule, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, side AB equals side CD. Since opposite sides of quadrilateral ABCD are equal, therefore quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. As opposite sides of parallelogram are equal and parallel, therefore side BC is equal to side AD. By using axiom, things equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Therefore, from equation 1 and 2 we conclude, side AB is equal to side AD. Since all sides of quadrilateral ABCD are proved equal, therefore ABCD is a rhombus. Let's solve the next problem. The problem states that diagonal AC of a parallelogram ABCD bisects angle A. We need to show that it also bisects angle C. Consider a parallelogram ABCD such that side AB is equal and parallel to side CD. Also side AD is equal and parallel to side BC. As opposite angles of parallelogram are equal, therefore angle A equals angle C and angle B equals angle D. Since side AB is parallel to side CD, therefore angle 2 equals angle 3, as interior alternate angles are equal. Also side AD is parallel to side BC, therefore angle 1 equals angle 4, as interior alternate angles are equal. As angle 1 equals angle 2, therefore by using axiom, things equal to the same thing are equal to one another. We conclude angle 3 equals angle 4, hence diagonal AC bisects angle C. Now to prove ABCD as rhombus from the given condition, consider triangle ADC as angle 1 equals angle 4 and angle 4 equals angle 3, therefore angle 1 equals angle 3. As side opposite to equal angles are equal, therefore side CD equals side AD. Since ABCD is a parallelogram, therefore opposite sides are equal, that is side AB equals side CD and side AD equals side BC. Using equation 1, 2 and 3 we get side AB equals side AD and side CD equals side BC. Since all the sides of the quadrilateral ABCD are equal, hence ABCD is a rhombus. Let's solve the next problem. The problem states that ABCD is a rectangle in which diagonal AC bisects angle A and angle C. We need to show that ABCD is a square. Consider a rectangle ABCD such that side AB is equal and parallel to side CD and side AD is equal and parallel to side BC. Also angle 1 equals angle 2 and angle 3 equals angle 4. Using the given conditions, we need to prove ABCD is a square, that is, all sides are equal. Since side AB is parallel to side CD, therefore angle 1 equals angle 4, as interior alternate angles are equal. Using equation number 1 and equation 3, angle 2 equals angle 3, as by axiom, things equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Similarly, using equation 2 and equation 4, angle 2 equals angle 4. Now, in triangle ADC, Sides opposite to equal angles are equal, therefore side AD equals side CD. Using equation AB and C, we get side AB equals side CD, which is equal to side AD and side BC. Hence, ABCD is a square. Let's solve the next problem. The problem states that ABCD is a parallelogram in which two points P and Q are taken on the diagonal BD such that segment DP is equal to segment BQ. For the first part, we need to prove triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQB. In triangle APD and triangle CQB, side AD is equal to side BC. As opposite sides of parallelogram are equal, segment DP is equal to segment BQ. Angle ADP is equal to angle CBQ. As interior alternate angles are equal, therefore by side angle side rule, triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQB. As triangle containing segment AP and segment CQ are proved congruent, therefore by corresponding parts of congruent triangle we conclude segment AP is equal to segment CQ. Now to prove triangle AQB congruent to triangle CPD, side AB is equal to side CD. As opposite sides of parallelogram are equal, segment DP is equal to segment BQ, angle BAQ equals angle CDP. As interior alternate angles are equal, therefore by side angle side rule, triangle AQB is congruent to triangle CPD. As triangles containing the segment AQ and segment CP are proved congruent, therefore by corresponding parts of congruent triangle, segment AQ equals segment CP. To prove quadrilateral APCQ as a parallelogram, 
using equation 2 and equation 4 we get side ap equals side cq and side aq equals side cp since opposite sides of quadrilateral ap cq are equal therefore it is a parallelogram let's solve the next problem the problem states that ABCD is a parallelogram and AP and CQ are perpendiculars from vertices A and C on diagonal BD. We need to prove triangle APB is congruent to triangle CQD. In triangle APB and triangle CQD, side AB is equal to side CD as opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Angle APB equals angle CQD each 90 degree. Angle ABP equals angle CDQ as interior alternate angles are equal. Therefore, by angle angle side rule, triangle APB is congruent to triangle CQD. Now to prove segment AP equals segment CQ. Since triangles containing the segment AP and segment CQ are proved congruent, therefore by corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude segment AP equals segment CQ. Let's solve the next problem. The problem states that ABCD is a trapezium such that AB is parallel to side CD and side AD is equal to side BC. We need to show that angle A equals angle B, that is angle 1 equals angle 2. As from the figure, it can be clearly seen that angle 1 is formed on the transversal AD whereas angle 2 is formed on the transversal BC. So there does not exist any direct relationship between angle A and angle B. So to establish the relationship there is a need of construction. Draw a line CE parallel to side AD and extend side AB till it meets point E. In quadrilateral AECD, as from construction, the opposite sides are parallel, therefore quadrilateral AECD is a parallelogram. As opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal, we conclude side AD equals side EC. Now in triangle BEC, side BC equals side CE. Therefore by using theorem, angles opposite to equal sides are equal, that is angle 3 equals angle 4. As adjacent angles on a straight line forms linear pair, therefore the sum of angle 2 and angle 3 equals 180 degree. Since side AD is parallel to side CE, therefore sum of angle BAD and angle BEC equals 180 degree, as sum of co-interior angles are supplementary. Now using the axiom, things equal to the same thing are equal to one another. From equation 2 and equation 3 we get angle 2 plus angle 3 equals angle 1 plus angle 4. As angle 3 equals angle 4, by cancellation law we get angle 2 equals angle 1, hence angle A equals angle B. To prove the second part that is angle C equals angle D, consider parallel lines AB and CD. As sum of co-interior angles are supplementary, therefore sum of angle A and angle D equals 180 degree and sum of angle B and C equals 180 degree. Using the axiom, things equal to the same thing are equal to one another, we conclude angle A plus angle D equals angle B plus angle C. However, angle A equals angle B, therefore by cancellation law, angle D equals angle C. For the third part, consider triangle ABC and triangle BAD. As side AB is common to both the triangles, also side BC is equal to side AD, angle B equals angle A, proved in first part, Therefore, by side angle side rule, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD. As triangles containing the segment AC and BD are already proved congruent, therefore by corresponding parts of congruent triangle we conclude segment AC equals segment BD. Let's solve the next problem. The problem states that in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, side AB is equal and parallel to side DE. Also side BC is equal and parallel to EF. Vertices A, B and C are joined to vertices D, E and F respectively. We need to show that quadrilateral ABED is a parallelogram. In quadrilateral ABED, side AB is equal and parallel to side ED. As opposite sides are equal and parallel, therefore ABED is a parallelogram. Now to prove the second part, consider quadrilateral BEFC. As side BC is equal and parallel to side EF, therefore quadrilateral BEFC is a parallelogram. As from part 1 and 2, ABCD and BEFC are parallelogram, therefore side AD is equal and parallel to BE and side BE is also equal and parallel to side CF. Therefore by using the axiom, things equal to the same thing are equal to one another, we conclude side AD is equal and parallel to side CF. Now to prove the fourth part, since side AD is equal and parallel to side CF, therefore ACFD is a parallelogram. As quadrilateral ACFD is proved parallelogram, since in parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and parallel, therefore we conclude side AC equals side TF. 
टू प्रूव ट्राइंगल ए बी सी कंकुरेंट टू ट्राइंगल डी ई एफ साइड ए बी इक्वल साइड डी ई एंड साइड बी सी इक्वल साइड ई एफ सिंस ए सी एफ डी इज अ पेलेलोग्राम देर फोर साइड ए सी इक्वल साइड डी एफ एज अपोजिट साइड ऑफ पेलोलोग्राम आर इक्वल बाय साइड 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 क्राइटेरिया ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज कंकुरेंट टू ट्राइंगल डी ई एफ लेट सॉल्व द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम स्टेट दैट इन रोमबस ए बी सी डी डायगनल ए सी बाइसेक्ट एंगल ए एज वेल एज एंगल सी एंड डायगनल बी डी बाइसेक्ट एंगल बी एज वेल एज एंगल डी सिंस ए बी सी डी इज अ रोमबस देर फॉर ऑल साइड आर इक्वल लेट ए सी बी दी डायगनल मेकिंग एंगल्स वन टू थ्री एंड फोर रिस्पेक्टिवली वी नीड टू प्रूव एंगल वन इक्वल्स एंगल टू एंड एंगल थ्री इक्वल्स एंगल फोर कंसिडर ट्राइंगल ए डी सी एज साइड ए डी इक्वल साइड डी सी देर फॉर बाई यूजिंग थियम Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. That is, angle one equals angle three. Similarly, in triangle ABC, side AB equals side BC. Therefore, by using the theorem, angle opposite to equal sides are equal. That is, angle two equals angle four. Since side AB is parallel to side CD, as opposite sides of rhombus are parallel, therefore angle two equals angle three, as interior alternate angles are equal. Using equation two, angle two equals angle four. therefore by using axiom things equal to the same thing are equal to one another we conclude angle 3 equals angle 4 hence diagonal ac bisects angle c similarly using equation 1 and equation 3 we get angle 1 equals angle 2 hence diagonal ac bisects angle a now to prove diagonal bd bisects angle b and angle d join diagonal bd resulting in the formation of angles angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 respectively to prove angle 5 equals angle 6 and angle 7 equals angle 8 consider triangle bad as side ab equals side ad therefore angle 5 equals angle 7 as angle opposite to equal sides are equal similarly in triangle bcd side bc is equal to side cd therefore angle c equals angle 8 as angles opposite to equal sides are equal since side ab is parallel to side cd as opposite sides of rhombus are parallel therefore angle 5 equals angle 8 as interior alternate angles are equal using equation 5 as angle 6 equals angle 8 therefore by using the axiom things equal to the same thing are equal to one another we conclude angle 5 equals angle 6 hence diagonal bd bisects angle b similarly using equation number 4 and equation 6 angle 7 equals angle 8 hence diagonal bd bisects angle d hence in a given rhombus diagonal ac bisects angle a as well as angle c and diagonal bd bisects angle b as well as angle d so this was it for the video see you in the next one thank you for watching